Hi, I'm Senator Rich Funky. As the legislative session comes to a close, we're having discussions about ways to reform procurement, how to bring greater transparency to the regional economic development councils, and other ethics reforms, and all of those are worthy of discussion. But I can't help but feel we are stepping over dollars to pick up pennies. When it comes to creating jobs, addressing sky-high taxes, and ensuring that our young people can afford to live and work in upstate New York, we don't need a course correction. We need bold, systemic change. A Wallet Hub report shows New York is the highest tax state in the nation when you combine property tax, income tax, sales tax, and excise tax. An investigative piece on the state's economic development programs earlier this year was both astonishing and depressing. It showed state and local subsidies have risen by $700 million since 2010. But even with all that investment, job growth was an anemic 2.7%, about a quarter of the national average. Four upstate metro areas have actually lost net jobs since then. People are voting with their feet. 41 of 50 upstate counties lost population between 2010 and 2015. The IRS says that's cost the state $22 billion in wealth. New York has lost more than 7 million people to other states since 1960. So how do we stop it? It begins by acknowledging that what we're doing doesn't work. The mega project model that allows the governor or his appointed economic development councils to hand out cash and other benefits to businesses may produce a success here or there, but it has hardly been a home run. It simply hasn't moved the needle where it counts with real job growth, a lower tax burden, and fewer folks moving out of upstate. Maybe it's time to consider repealing many of the specialized programs and tax credits currently being doled out. Maybe it's time to replace that system with a flatter, simpler tax code to provide across-the-board reductions for all businesses in New York and those that want to move here. Businesses aren't afraid to compete, but they deserve predictability. We should be providing every business and every taxpayer with the same opportunity to succeed. And here's the other issue. When individuals and state agencies hand out giant subsidies to companies, it can create the temptation to let personal considerations influence decisions. The recent bid rigging schemes from the highest levels of the executive branch confirm that. Our current economic development strategy hasn't worked, and no flashy ad campaign can change it. We aren't elected to better manage the decay of our communities. We're elected to reverse it. We need a better plan. That's my take. What's yours? I'm Senator Rich Funky.